Tom Brenneman, Tim McCarver, our entire Fox crew welcoming you to Dodger Stadium. Sellout crowd on hand, and Alex Cora begins the Dodger third. And Morris delivers a strike, and Timmy, I know you're very impressed. It's only two innings, but two very impressive innings for Matt Morris. Yeah, I think both pitchers are doing uh, what they want to do so far with Morris with overwhelming stuff. Very impressed with Morris's breaking ball thus far. Well, we talked about Matt Morris, one of only three complete games this entire year, a complete game shutout against the Dodgers. Ironically enough, he beat Jose Lima in that game. And Lima pitched a terrific game. He went seven innings, allowed only three runs. Lima, a different pitcher than Matt Morris. Morris is a guy who throws the ball off the fat part of the bat. And Lima makes hitters hit the ball even on the fat part of the bat on his terms. That got the fat part of Cora's hand or wrist. I think uh, in talking to the Cardinals about Matt, they, they think he generates more leg strength from the windup than he does from the stretch. He gave up 24 home runs of the 35 given up from the stretch. That's the most in the majors. 24 home runs with runners on base this year. And if you're thinking about batting average, how about the jump there with the bases empty this season? Hitters batting 245 against Morris. With runners on, they're hitting over 300. Now Brent Main. Breaking ball misses away. That's an example right there. That's not the type of curveball we've seen from Morris from the windup thus far. That was a floater to Brent Main. This is a little lollipop right here. We have not seen that type curveball from Morris tonight. And now not as sharp again with that command. That one sailed high and away. He's fallen behind. Brent Main, two balls and a strike. Main started the year with Steve Finley in Arizona. Both came over at the trade deadline. Did not homer this entire season, knocking in just 15 runs. career a 300 batter against Matt Morris runner goes and it's fouled out of play Cora not known as a base dealer he only had three of them in seven attempts during the regular season Morris okays a sign with Matheny, and now the 2 2. Nope, he'll turn and send Cora back to the bag. Breaking ball driven into right center field, and it will fall in a base hit, making a turn as Cora on his way to third, and he is safe. Fifty seven thousand on their feet at Dodger Stadium. Runners on the corners Lima during the regular year a very good runner had eight sacrifices. He did have nine base hits. He takes down low ball one. A lot of holes a lot of moving parts in that Cardinal infield right now and Lima is a guy generally who handles the bat pretty well. Will Jim Tracy roll the dice. He bumps it in front of the plate. Matheny goes to second base. And safe is a call. And Renteria right in the face of Jerry Davis, the second base umpire. And Tony LaRusse is going to come out and dispute that call. It looked like he was out. Now Cesar is tourist. And a breaking ball. Another lollipop curveball, as you called it, Timmy. 
Matt Morris a very different pitcher with runners on base than when they're empty. Yeah, I tell you, he looks so tentative from the stretch. With the bases loaded, I'd go ahead and wind up right here. On the ground, foul by his tourists. Is Torres this season with the bases loaded did not have a single hit in 12 at bats. Nary a one. Breaking ball right at the belt. His Torres thought it was high and has words with Chuck Merriweather. One and two. These are the situations the Dodgers cannot fail to cash in on if they want to hang around and send it any further in this series. Jim Tracy talked about the bases loaded situation the other night. There were two outs then, tonight, none out. And after that cold strike on the high strike a moment ago, as Torres forced to chase that one and foul it away. That's an interesting and good point, Tom, because. A lot of times if, if you have that call go against you early in the count it forces you to swing the bat with two strikes something you don't want to do. I'll tell you if I was Mike Matheny I'd tell Matt Morris to wind up and forget about that stretch wind up whenever you can. Right now there the percentages there's just no odds in going from the stretch right here you don't need to do it. Sometimes numbers don't tell the entire story with Matt Morris. The numbers don't lie. He's still pitching out of the stretch. And it's in the air, short left field, coming hard, Reggie Sanders. He's got it, and the runners stay put. So the first big out in this inning for Matt Morton. Left fielder. with one out by Jason Worth came off Jason Marquis his first career postseason home run the only lead in this series for the Dodgers that made it one nothing on Thursday night they're trying to change that right here and right now boy he had a rip at a fastball there and fouled it back Worth just missing this fastball Matheny setting up outside and tails inside Worth would like that one back. Bases loaded 2 1. Threw a fastball right by him. Time will tell, but this could be the single biggest at bat of the season for the Dodgers. Because their season might be over by the end of the night. And it's popped up into foul territory. There's a lot of that here. And pull holes with room. And there are two away in the inning. And a breaking ball from Morris is rolled over foul. These are the situations the Dodgers got Steve Finley for. He didn't deliver the other night. He has been as solid a player as there has been in baseball over the last dozen years. Not saying he's been the best player, but he has been an outstanding player for many, many years. Broken back, base hit. One run score. Two run score and Finley delivers this time. Delivers a package the contents of which were shattered. <laughs> A 
splattered bat and two RBIs. There's a saying in baseball that a hitter will exchange a bat for a hit anytime, particularly with the bases loaded. First hit of the series for Steve Finley. Adrian Beltre down a strike. Morris struck him out swinging his first time up. Beltre is yet to knock in a run in this series. And again, Beltre tardy on the Morris fastballs. Uh, well, Matt has gone back to the windup. Runners on at second and third, and it, it, you can do that with the bases loaded also. Particularly, as we said, when there's a disparity in speeds of the curveball and the fastball, and there certainly has been so far. Gone swinging Beltre, but the Dodgers on the board. They lead 2-0.